forgiving is not easy. It isn't something that can be legislated. You can't say to somebody, you must forgive. And, and so when you, you feel as you feel, um, it's natural. It'll be, we would say you are an awful child not to be upset and appalled by what had happened. But what, you, what I think we need to keep be, be saying, I, I came to Rwanda just after the genocide. I was still uh, president of the All Africa Conference of Churches, and I was asked to preach uh, in Kigali. Uh, and I, I, I said to uh, the Rwandans who had gathered there, the president and, and, and the cabinet ministers and, and the people, and they were incredible. I mean, you tell a joke, and the people who had gone through this ghastly, ghastly experience could laugh. But I said to them, you know, your history is actually fairly straightforward. Your history is, at one time, the Hutu are top dogs, and the Tutsi are the underdogs. The underdogs strive to become the top dogs. And when they become the top dogs, they clobber the new underdogs for what happened in the, in the time when the underdogs were the top dogs. And these underdogs do the same thing. They strive to get to the top. They manage to get to the top. They, and then they, they pay back. And so you have the spiral which would go on and on. And I said to them, until you get somewhere at somehow, someone saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did so and so. Because <laughs> we know it in, in, in our most uh, intimate relationships. If you fall out with your wife. Yeah, I mean, saying sorry, sweetie, <laughs> is one of the toughest things in any language, saying sorry. But what hope is there for that relationship if when something has gone awry, Someone doesn't say sorry. 